Thank you for a new wave of glory is blowing the way of your people. We thank you, Lord, for counting us worthy, worthy enough to receive the new wave. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for what you are doing in the life of your people. We give you all the glory tonight. We exalt your holy name tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that we are covered in the blood tonight. Thank you that the blood of Jesus covers us tonight. Thank you that our families are covered in the blood. Thank you that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. By the blood of the Lamb, we thank you that no weapon formed against your people will prosper. Thank you that any evil plot of the wicked against our life is hereby cancelled. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hey! Lord, we thank you tonight. Father, we glorify your name tonight. We exalt your holy name tonight. You alone deserve the glory. You alone deserve the praise. We thank you, Lord. 
We thank you, Father. Thank you that we are over Shandra. Thank you, Lord, that your power is being made manifest in our life tonight. Thank you that your people are being exalted above the works of the wicked tonight. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Zelondi Kabalagalagalagalagalagada. Consuming fire. Holy Ghost. Lord, our provider. Jehovah Jireh. Lokadi Galagalaga. We pray, oh God, that you manifest yourself in our life tonight. Manifest your power in our life tonight. Manifest your power in our life tonight. Manifest your power in our life tonight. We can delegate the local Romosiata. We submit to your power, Lord. We submit to your will, Lord. Let your will be done in our life. Let your purpose be established in our life. Lord, do a new thing in the life of your people. Lord, do a new thing in our life. Use us for your glory. In the name of Jesus, use us for your glory. 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 Use us us to do new things on the face of this earth. Use us for your glory, Lord. Use us for your glory. Use us for your glory. Use us for your glory. Use us for your glory, Lord. We submit ourselves to you tonight. Use us for your glory. We submit our families to you tonight. Use us for your glory. Use us for your glory. Use us for your glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus, use us to solve complex problems on the earth. In the name of Jesus, we avail ourselves to be used by you. We avail ourselves to be used by you, Lord. Jehovah Jireh, El Roy, El Shaddai. We avail ourselves to be used by you. May we never lose your presence. May we never lose your power. May we never lose the joy of our salvation. In the name of Jesus, may my family members not lose the joy of our salvation. May we not lose your presence. May we not lose your touch. May we not lose your power. In the name of Jesus, Lord, fill us tonight. The Bible says that Jesus was filled with a spirit without measure. It is my prayer tonight, oh God, that you fill us without measure. Fill us with your power without measure. Fill us with your anointing without measure. Fill your people, oh God. Fill my wife. Fill my daughter. Fill my spiritual sons and daughters. Fill my partners. Fill the men and the women that we stand in the gap for. Fill us, oh God, with the Holy Ghost. Without measure. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight that you are filling your people with the Holy Ghost. We thank you tonight that you are filling us with the Holy Ghost. Thank you that we are empowered by the Holy Ghost. We give you all the glory. We exalt your holy name tonight. Only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve the praise. Lebandi karaman yo shata. Zeko da bagalaga diante. Hey, pantolia katolia de. We thank you tonight. In the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight. In the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, we need you. Now hear me. I said this, I believe. Uh, must have been today or yesterday on the prayer network sometime uh, I said that the, our precious Holy Ghost is the most important person 
on the face of this earth right now. Our precious Holy Ghost is the most important person on the face of the earth right now. He is more important than any general in the military. He is more important than any president of any country in the world. He is more important than any prime minister of the nations of the world. He is more important than the queens and kings of this earth. He is the most important man, person on the face of this earth. The Holy Ghost, our precious Holy Ghost. But yet we don't recognize him as such. Yeah. He is more important than the man that you are believing God to connect you to. He's more important than that man. Now the funny thing is that, the amazing thing is that, our precious Holy Ghost is not only important, he has access. Somebody type access. Our precious Holy Ghost has access. He has access to every man and every woman that you would ever want to get access to. He has access. Somebody type access. He has access to every man and every woman that you will ever need on the face of this earth. He has access to them. I see some of you on uh, on on scope. You have uh, the flyer as your profile picture. God bless you for your obedience. May you receive the prophet's reward. And anybody who, who did it yesterday, may you receive the prophet's reward. God bless you. But hear me tonight. Our precious Holy Ghost has access to every person that you will ever desire to get access to. Make me our precious Holy Ghost. He has access to the question, the answers that you are looking for concerning your own life. He has access. So wonder, he said, what flyer? Well, the flyer for uh, the prayer and worship experience. Uh, I said last night. Uh, I said last night that everybody that could should go ahead and use it as their profile picture because whenever we promote prayer as a matter of fact i believe i said that every call to prayer is a call to god through jesus christ and a call to worship is a call to the father the son and the holy ghost and so anytime you announce anything in that that has anything in regards to prayer you are calling people to god through jesus anytime you announce anything that has uh, anything in regards to worship you are announcing you are calling people to worship the father the son and the holy spirit our precious holy spirit and some obeyed some forgot but uh, it's not too late i want you to do it do it but hear me the most important person in on the face of this earth is the holy our precious holy spirit he has access to everybody that you would ever want to get access to. Can you imagine the Holy Ghost has access right now to the President of America. The Holy Ghost has access right now to the President of, 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 of any nation in the world. The Holy, Our precious Holy Ghost has access right now to any man that you are believing God to touch his heart. The, our precious Holy Ghost has access. My God, he's he's good he has access to the judge who's going to be sitting uh, 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 and ruling or, or judging your case he has access to those who are going to be looking at your resume do you understand that the holy ghost has access my yagada not only does he have access he has control 
not only does he have access he has control my god not only has does he have access he has control it was in St. Mary's, Georgia, in, in Major Prophet Brian Khan's uh, church, KCC, that a bishop, I believe his name was Bishop Jones, came and preached a powerful message. And in his message, he said that God has is not only in charge, he's in control. Not only is he in charge, he's in control. And the example that he gave was that his son joined uh, the fire service. And not Bishop Noah Jones, but one Bishop Jones. One Bishop Jones. I believe the name was Bishop Jones. But the message is more important. But he said, he said uh, uh, his son had joined the, uh, the fire department and the son was telling him how they would go for training. And sometimes during their training, they, the fire department will set a house on fire. Okay, they will set a house on fire and ask all the trainees to, to, to quench that fire. All right, as part of their training exercise. And so not only the fire department, not only do they put out fires, they start fires. Not only is our God in charge, he is in control. My goodness, he is in control. Just like our precious Holy Ghost, he is in control. My God, da, ga, la, ga, la, ga, la, ga. not only is he in charge, but he's in control. Not only is he in charge, but but he's in control. Not only is he in charge, but he's in control. The fire might seem as though it's going to spread out. But hear me, he's in charge and in control of that fire. That disease seems as though it's about to spread all throughout your body. But I came to announce to you tonight but that God is not only in charge, he's in control. He can control that sickness. He can control that disease he can wipe it away in a man in a man sota not only is he in charge he is in control not only is he in charge he is in control somebody he's in control of your life tonight he's in control of your destiny tonight in control of the secrets of your life tonight he's in control of of of, of the answers that you are seeking tonight our precious holy ghost is not only in charge he's in control most important person on the face of this earth that is why watch this god is in control praise god pastor andy i salute you i called you you were right praise god halaman the ocean but hear me tonight it is very because the Bible makes us understand that he has access to the things that are on the heart of the Father. Our precious Holy Ghost has access. Now watch this. I want you to picture God. Picture a book with you in it. In the volumes of the book, it is written concerning you and I. In heaven, there is a menu and you and I are on the menu of heaven. God has our life in his hands. The Bible makes us understand that Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning. Before you, he was. Now he is. After you, he still will be. He said the other day that before Abraham was, I am. And so in God is all your life. Is somebody with me? No wonder the Bible says, in him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our being. And so I want you to picture this. God has, God knows exactly what you're going to be doing at 5 p.m. on the day you turn 50. He knows. He knows exactly what you're going to be doing at 7 p.m. on the day you turn 45, if you're not 45 already. Hear me tonight. God knows the details of our life. No wonder he calls us in the, in the book of Isaiah. He says, come now, let us reason together. He said, for though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. For though 
they be they be they, they they be red as crimson they shall be as white as wool hear me tonight that god is calling us to a higher place he said come now let us reason together for though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow god wants you and i to attain a high level of wisdom i was speaking to a, 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 a somebody the other day and they said man of god now this person is in africa they said man of god you know i've been talking hundreds of thousands of dollars for the past years you know i've been selling stuff and some of the stuff you know properties cost at uh 150 170 200 and over and this person said man of god i gave my last vehicle my last and my best vehicle i gave it to the altar i said what did what do you mean the person said i gave it as a seed believing God for something and within months God transformed my life the person said now I'm sitting in meetings with all these young folks most of them under the age of 30 and they are talking about billions and millions of dollars and the person goes ahead to say man of God this is not money that they're going to borrow from the bank or money that they hope to get this is money that they have rare handed cash readily available I said now you got to talk to me what can I do to get to this level the person said to me now watch now now they, they had to be bold they said well man of God I, I think this thing this thing cannot be reasoned out yeah, the person said this is you need divine wisdom to operate like some of these people and to get to where I am I said huh the person said, you got to pray for divine wisdom. That same day I got on the prayer network. I said, prayer network. We've been praying for wisdom and praying for wisdom. But apparently, the wisdom we've been praying for is not enough. Now we need to add one more word. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. And we started praying for it. Now hear me. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this divine there is a level of wisdom concerning your life there is a level of information concerning your life that you might never attain get receive download until you get to the holies of holies or unless you dive into the holies of holies Anytime you will go into serious prayer, like we are going to be going, that like we are going to be doing in Arlington, Virginia, on the 25th and the 26th of this month. Anytime you go into serious prayer, intense prayer and worship, God begins to speak. You find yourself. I tell people the best way to describe it is that you feel as though you have just been dumped into a pool, a pool of revelation your life begins to unfold right before your eyes you begin to download supernatural ideas like never before like even right now i am downloading supernatural ideas god wants us to go higher to a place he said come now let us reason together why would a god who is omnipotent omnipresent why would this god almighty god god all-knowing god all-powerful god give me a mortal man a sinner like me an invitation to come up God wants you and I to come up to him he said come now let us reason together God never said that to any angel he didn't say that to angels not that I know of in, in, in Jeremiah not that I know of in Isaiah he said come now in the book of Isaiah let us reason together I know you filthy I know you don't deserve it I know you're not worthy and so he goes ahead to say though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow and though they be red as crimson they shall be as Woo. I came to announce to somebody tonight that God is calling you to a higher place. God is calling you and I to a higher place. He said, come now. Let us reason together. There are some solutions that the earth needs. God
God has the solution and he says come now let me give you those ideas I know you filthy I know your sins are so red I know you've been disobedient I know you feel as though you don't qualify but I have grace to cover you I have the blood to cover you if only you would turn from your wicked ways and come to me just as you are the Lord says I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not I'm in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 he said call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not and somebody is wondering Lord I've been crawling on you maybe not enough Lord I've been praying maybe not enough Elijah on the mountain Elijah prophet Elijah powerful prophet Elijah the one that caused fire from heaven to consume false prophets that man Elijah the Bible makes us understand that Elijah on the mountain he prayed the first time no rain appeared he prayed the second time no rain appeared the third time there was no rain the fourth time there was no rain Elijah did not stop praying he did not cease praying hear me tonight maybe the reason why we have not seen a manifestation is that the church is slowly going into a cruise control mode or slowly going into a sleep mode we are saying well maybe now that we have prayed if it is the will of God it will happen maybe God don't want me to get it this time maybe he wants me to get it another time beloved God did not create time for him he created time for us time was made for man and not man for time I came to announce to you like Elijah after the fourth and the fifth time if you will pray again and keep pressing on Jesus said the other day that ask and it shall be given seek and ye shall find knock and the door shall be open have you knocked? have you asked? come on begin to seek have you sought begin to knock and don't stop knocking until he opens the door just the other day over 2000 years ago just about the apostles were in prayer because they were believing God for the release of Peter but the Bible says that just when they were pr praying in the house of one of the apostles what they were praying for started knocking on their door my goodness they were praying for the release of Peter Peter started knocking on their door may I announce to you tonight just as it happened in the days of the apostles get ready it's about to happen to us tonight and beyond on the 25th and the 26th in Arlington Virginia it's about to happen to us just as we are praying answers will begin to knock on our doors calls will begin to come in in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God somebody's probably waited on God trying to give God some time to come in and heal them but God says tonight if only you will come up come up higher if only you will come up come up higher increase the level of your desire increase the level of your exuberance increase the level of your zeal pray like you believe it the reason why some of you always play the lottery is because you believe in the lottery you believe that one day maybe you gonna win the lottery that's why you got faith in so much lottery why don't you put that same faith and even greater in God keep praying knowing that God will someday step in for you God has the chance has the has the has the I mean has the potency of stepping in for you right now not tomorrow but right now we serve and now God now God we serve and now God and so by the power and by the help and strength of the Holy Ghost we can get access to a higher place a higher perspective a higher level in God and a higher place in God not tomorrow but tonight in the name of Jesus that is why we are praying that the Holy Ghost will fill us without measure in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God the Bible says the Holy Ghost has access to the heart of the father 
He has access to the secrets that are on the heart of the Father. Hear me tonight. Do you understand that if your life is in God, in Him we live, in Him we move, in Him we have our being. Do you understand that if our life truly is in God, and God truly has record of everything that we have done, yet to do, and ever, ever will do, if God truly has a record of all that, then that means, hear me, that God has the secret to your success, and the secret to your prosperity no wonder he says in the next verse of isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 he says after he calls he said come now let us reason together for though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow though they be red as crimson they shall be as who as who verse 19 he says if ye be willing and obedient Ye shall eat the good of the land. If ye be willing and obedient, that sickness will come of you. If ye be willing and obedient, I will open the windows of heaven. I will pour out a blessing such that there will not be room enough for you to contain. If ye be willing and obedient, that confusion going on in your heart and in your mind will be erased. If ye be willing and obedient, God is saying he will make a way where there seems to be no way if he be willing and obedient that stubborn child is gonna come back home if he be willing and obedient god said he can deliver you and he will deliver you if he be willing and obedient now verse 20 says but if he refuse and rebel you shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the lord has spoken it Father, deliver us from being devoured. Deliver us from disobedience. Deliver us, O oh Lord. My God, I feel like going somewhere that I... That, that, that I, didn't, I didn't want to go tonight. Deliver us, O oh God. Deliver us tonight. Deliver us tonight. Deliver us tonight. Deliver us tonight, O oh God. Deliver us from evil. Can I teach tonight? I want you to go ahead and share this, especially Facebook, share it. Periscope, invite your followers, share it on Twitter, share it, do something, share this. Some, somebody's life and breakthrough is connected to this. Somebody's breakthrough is connected to this. If ye be willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. That tells you and me that eating the good of the land, the keys to the good of the land is in my hands. Ooh. The keys to your success is in your hands. The keys to my success is in my hands. I want you to type, is in my hands. And if you doubt it, just read Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate upon it day and night. Then thou shalt observe to do that which is written therein. Then you shall make your way prosperous. Then you shall obtain good success. After you have obeyed God, same principle same principle in isaiah chapter one same principle in isaiah chapter one verse 19 if ye be willing and obedient if you obey god you shall eat the good of the land after you have done all these things then thou shalt obtain good that shall make your way prosperous you will make your way prosperous by your obedience I know we don't hear this too often, y'all. I, I know, I know, I know we don't hear this too often. I know we hear that if you sow, you're you going to make your way prosperous. Sowing going to prosper you. But there is a level of prosperity in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. 
that sowing alone cannot get you there obedience in your obedience to god is needed you cannot live a filthy and a sinful life all the days of your life and expect god to bless you with good success come on the bible says do not be deceived for the lord is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth so shall he reap i understand grace i understand grace i understand grace i'm still doing a whole bunch of studies on grace but I know one thing for sure they, it is said that grace is unmerited grace is one, the grace of God is unmerited it will always cover you if so why are people going to hell why is it that Jesus said on that day many shall come to me and say father I healed in your name I prophesied and preached in your name and he will say depart from me ye workers of iniquity for when I was hungry you gave me no food uh oh where is grace when i was thirsty you gave me no drink mm, lord where is grace where is grace where is grace do not be deceived for whatsoever a man soweth so shall he reap jesus came to fulfill the scripture two men one man and his wife under the auspices of grace were put to death only because they lied to the apostle they lied only lied just one lie just one lie they sold their own property their own property and lied to the apostle about the amount that they sold it for i mean can you imagine you sell your own property i mean my bonafide property i sell it for uh, uh 1.5 million and then I come to the prophet or the apostles and I lay at their feet one million. My wife joins me to lie about it and we all die only because we lied about my own property. Come on, where is grace? Where is grace? Mende Galagalamandiosha, if ye be willing and obedient. Ye shall eat the good of the land. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. I believe God is calling us to a place. Moshanda Basia. God is calling us to a higher place, a deeper place in Him. Y'all, the other day we spoke about the fact that money cannot go to heaven with you what shall it profit a man if the whole world if he gains the whole world and he loses his soul the, the man the other day the rich man the other day said i have plenty of others what then shall i do i'll build a barn i'll do this and he had so much plans for his harvest but that night god said i'm going to take your life he died and left everything behind. Jesus shared that parable. Where was grace? Let us not abuse the grace of God. Let us not consistently and continuously live just anyhow under the auspices of grace will cover me. When I start teaching extensively on grace, I know I'm crazy. Um, uh, I, I know a whole bunch of folks gonna have a whole bunch of questions. A whole bunch of folks gonna have a whole bunch of questions. But I'm doing an extensive study on grace, and I'm allowing God to speak to me. But hear me tonight. I believe God is calling us to a higher place. God is calling us to a deeper place. Obeying God. Obeying God. It is it is very easy. It is easier to obey God than to disobey Him. Once you try to master obedience, now you're never going to be perfect. Forget it. You're going to be wrong. 
Even on your best day, you call God calls you a filthy rag. And so you never gonna be perfect. But push, try, strive to live right. The Bible makes us understand in Luke chapter 1, verse 63. As a matter of fact, the chapter of Luke, 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 the first chapter of Luke. We encounter the angel of the Lord. Now watch this. It, you know, I love the Bible, y'all. When, when I get to, when I get like this, I, 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 I just, I just feel him in my bones. I love, I love the Bible. Now listen, a man called Zachariah, this man had been praying all his life for one thing. He wanted a child. He wanted somebody who would take over from him when he died. He wanted a child, a male born son to be precise. Of course, a male born. And one time, he was in the presence of the Lord. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him. This Zechariah was a high priest. This man was the one who would carry the burdens of the whole people. The whole nation before God. He would carry the sins of the people before God. He was a high priest. He was the closest person to God among the people he was a high priest the bible says when the angel of the lord appeared to him fear fell on him in the presence of god we'll talk about that later another day the bible said fear not zachariah for god has heard your cry and has answered your prayer how sad it is oftentimes we pray we pray and pray and pray, but yet we're not even ready for our answers. Be careful what you pray for, because you just might get it. Be careful what you pray for. You just might get it. And so the Lord said to him, and so, you know, in his heart, he started doubting God. He started doubting God. He started doubting God. And the angel said, because you have doubted, because you have doubted. Now doubt is a form of disobedience. Doubt is a form of disobedience. Doubt is a level of disobedience. And so because you have doubted God, God said you're going to be dumb. Now there are many people tonight. Y'all allow me to teach tonight. There are many people tonight in the realm of the spirit. Because of your disobedience, naturally, you lift, you open your mouth and you pray. We hear you praying, but spiritually, your mouth has been shut. You are dumb because of your disobedience. For people like that, we say the heavens have been shut over your life because of your disobedience. I'm not here to scare you. I'm only here. To tell you the truth and stir everybody up to get closer to Jesus and our precious Holy Ghost and El Elyon. And so this man, like many people, he became dumb. There are many people who have become dumb in the realm of the spirit. You open your mouth to speak, but your, your words don't carry no weight. It carries no power because of doubt and disobedience. But tonight I declare in the name of Jesus that we are coming out of any form of disobedience. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I know you used to me praying uh, warfare prayers. But tonight please receive this prayer and agree with me on this prayer. Because it is a key to your success obedience hear me tonight and so and so he was made dumb and, 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 and because 
he was made dumb, we can reasonably deduce that this man was not effective in his calling any longer. For the period that he was made dumb, for the period that he doubted and disobeyed God, he was made ineffective. Doubting God and disobedience can make you ineffective. It makes you ineffective. Me gala 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 gala. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that the hand of God snatches us out of any, any realm of doubt, any realm of unbelief, any realm of doubt, any realm of unbelief, any realm of disobedience, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The man was troubled. His whole family was troubled. And, and a whole high priest. I mean a whole high priest. I mean pick your favorite preacher. Pick your favorite preacher right now. And just imagine that favorite preacher dumb can speak. May that not be my portion Lord. May that not be my portion. How effective can they be? I believe that his indisposition made him ineffective. It made him incapable of doing his duties. It brought him and his family a bunch of trouble. Like Jonah. Jonah found himself in a ship. And because of one man Jonah. The entire ship was attacked. Your disobedience can bring calamity upon an entire nation. Hear me tonight. One man's disobedience can bring calamity upon an entire family. Hear me tonight. Your disobedience can cause your entire family to drown in poverty. Your disobedience can cause your entire family to drown in calamity. But I came to declare tonight by prayer that any plot of the wicked one to cause us to disobey God God and therefore drown in calamity is hereby cancelled in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver us tonight from any spirit of disobedience. Deliver us tonight from any power of disobedience. Holy Ghost, we need you tonight. Holy Ghost, we need your touch tonight. Holy Ghost, we need you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Disobedience and doubt is a spirit. And if it is a spirit, every spirit needs a body to live in. High priest, Zachariah. Man of God, Zachariah. Great title, Zachariah. Yet, he was filled. With a spirit of doubt. If this man of God. Was filled with a spirit of doubt. How much more. You and I. If this man of God. Was attacked by the spirit of disobedience. How much more you and I. The Bible makes us understand that the enemy does not come. Except to steal. Excuse me. Except to steal. Kill and destroy. John 10.10 10. But Jesus said I have come. That you might have life. And that you might have it more abundantly. There is a level of life. Called abundant life. There is a level of life. Called abundant life. Where your finances. Even in your finances. You begin to experience abundance. Good success. Where your health. In your health. You begin to experience abundance. Good success. Where every area of your life. Begins to experience abundance. We call it good success. And that only comes from God. And anything that comes from God is first spirit. Then it manifests in the natural. 
If then it is first spirit, watch this. Then why don't we seek the man that has control over every other spirit? Who is this man? The Holy Ghost. Where is he? He's here. Where does he live? He's looking for a place to live. The Bible says that our bodies are temples of the Holy Ghost. Do you understand that, the, that God, heaven, gave up our precious Holy Ghost to come on this earth to live in us? Do you understand that any day that we reject him, we grieve him? Do you understand that any day that we reject him, we grieve him? Do you understand that any day that we say no to him, we grieve him? Do you understand that each day we walk away from God, we grieve the Holy Ghost? No wonder anytime we gather together, he is dead. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am also in their midst. My goodness, the presence of God is here. He's there. He's everywhere. And he seeks to fill you tonight and drive out every evil spirit, every spirit of disobedience, every spirit of doubt, any spirit that is not like him. He seeks to drive it out tonight. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, we submit ourselves to you tonight. We ask tonight that you drive out every other spirit any spirit that is not like you any evil spirit we ask that you drive out tonight in the name of jesus i bind every evil force i bind every spirit of disobedience i bind every spirit of doubt that hinders us in the name of jesus i bind you and i command you to leave the families leave the bodies of the people of god leave every family tonight under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus hear me tonight the spirit of God our precious Holy Ghost seeks to lead us to our places of prosperity do you understand that God desires in your prosperity do you understand that God desires in your success do you understand that God desires in your prosperity? He desires in your good success. God desires that every believer becomes successful. It doesn't matter how long you've disobeyed God. It doesn't matter how long you have been living life your own way. Tonight he says, come now. Let us reason together. For though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red as crimson, they shall be as wool. That's grace. That's grace calling you. Another word for grace is favor. Grace comes from the word hane. Hane. Hane translates into grace in english and it translates into favor one word translates into grace and favor and so hane which is favor also means grace grace is favor and favor is grace the only reason god is calling you according to his scripture according to isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 is because we have found grace is because we have found favor before him hear me tonight by the grace of god and so grace watch this like I said, I'm going to start teaching on grace soon. Now, grace calls you to God. Grace gives you an invitation. Grace, Mr. Grace says, you don't deserve it, but I'm calling you. Grace says, you are filthy, you are dirty, you don't deserve to be in the presence of God, but I'm calling you. I'm going to cover you, but you've got to obey and come. The grace has been made available to cover you. And so when God sees you, by the way, I'm using my, 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 my this towel, uh, this towel belongs to uh, Prophet Albert. Those of you who know him, 
prayer mantle. Yeah, this towel belongs to him. I, I, I told him, look, I'm going to use this and I'm going to operate under a double anointing. Praise God. And so watch this. When grace calls you, this is what happens. As dirty as you are, as filthy and undeserving as we are. Yo, you know how sinful I am. But the Bible says, come now, let us reason together. For though your sins, that's grace calling. And so even though my sins look as red and filthy and dirty as this shirt. When God looks at me, he sees grace. I don't qualify to be in his presence. When I get in his presence, he sees grace. And he speaks to me. He said, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red as crimson, by grace, they shall be as wool. Though they be red as crimson, by grace, they shall be as wool. And so when God is speaking to me, and God is revealing stuff to me, he's not revealing to the red, he's revealing to the grace, white. He's not revealing by, by my works, because my wax is just red and dirty. He's not revealing by it. He's revealing by grace. No wonder the apostle says it is not by wax. Lest any man should boast. It is by grace. I came to announce to you tonight. That there is grace available for you to repent. There is grace available for you to change your mind. There is grace available for you to believe God again. There is grace available tonight for you to trust in God again. If he did it for people he can do it for you and i if he did it in times of old he can do it for you and i i decree and i declare tonight by prayer that by the grace of god we are coming out from that place of disobedience and we are entering into that place of obedience in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i bind every demon of disobedience that has been attached to our life I cut off the cord of disobedience that has been connected to our soul in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I decree and I declare tonight we are being delivered from the spirit of disobedience. We are being delivered from the spirit of disobedience in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Mandereosa. Lord, I have all shake up the lagada badagadia. Mende geleve kalaga lagabados. Ibe kapato si kata labadia. Mendos kadili andere bi usha. Ie mandere o sekere bi usha. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Now hear me. I, I didn't plan on teaching this tonight. Didn't plan on talking this much tonight. As a matter of fact, those of you on, on social media, if you see uh, uh, the subject, I mean, I mean, on the subject, I was actually going to put short uh, time of prayer. Or let's pray for just a few minutes or something. I, yo, I, I didn't plan. I didn't plan this. I didn't plan this. God needs you to hear this tonight because the end time is here. And God wants you and I, there is so much that God wants you and I to do. And we cannot do it without his prosperity, without good health, and without his blessing. And so he's calling us to a place of obedience. He said, if you are willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. I declare tonight in the name of Jesus that we are being translated to the place of good where God calls the good of the land that is where we are moving to in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that we are moving to a place called good the good of the land you are in a place where your health is not good I declare tonight that we are moving to a place of good your health is being moved to a place called good Somebody type good. Your health is moving to a place called good. You shall eat the good of the land. According to the word of God. In Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. 
I decree and I declare that we are moving to a place called good. In our previous places, we were attacked, but as we move to a place called good, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper because our families are moving to a place called good, the good of the land. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I decree and I declare that I am moving to a place called good according to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. Manasuzet, Minister David, send it. I decree and I declare that we are moving to a place called good according to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 my family is moving we are packing bag and baggage and we are moving to a place called good where we will experience the good of the land our health is moving to a place called good the times are changing to favor our cause because we have decided to obey God in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. My family is moving to a place called good. I'm moving. My mind is moving to a place called good. My finances is moving to a place called good. I decree and I declare tonight we are moving to a place called good. According to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, under the most shatapaya, Peloza Gandhi and Telebreskete, Impeleke de Velegede, Le Baba Bashandaya, and Toli Kados. As we decree it, so shall it be. We are moving to a place called good. Men shall see it. We will experience it. Our life will speak concerning it. In the name of Jesus, everything thing about me is moving to a place called good. My address just changed to a place called good. I want you to type my address just changed. My God, my address just changed to a place called good. According to Isaiah chapter 1 verses 19, my address just changed to a place called good. I declare as you type it, your address is changing to a place called good. According to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, Mende kepe peluga dia. I decree and I declare tonight the address of my wife, the address of my daughter, the address of my partners, my family and friends, my extended family, the address of my father, my mother, my siblings, their families. I decree and declare tonight it is changing to a place called good in the name of Jesus. I call According to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, everything about my life is changing tonight to a place called good, where I will experience the good of the land. No more sickness in that land. No more attacks in that place. No more diseases in that place. No more tumors in that place. No more cancer on that land. No more attacks on that land. No more epilepsy on that land. No more stroke on that land. No more heart attacks on that land. It is changing to a place called good. According to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. I see myself moving. I see my destiny moving. I see my life changing to a place called good. I decree and I declare tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost which is the power and the spirit of obedience. By the spirit of God. The spirit of obedience. My address is changing. Sickle cell anemia, it is changing to a place called good, to a place called healed. Ipantoliata, rege de gelege, ampalapaya, 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 ampalapaya. It is changing to 
tonight. It is changing tonight to a place called good. I decree and I declare our addresses are changing tonight to a place called good where we'll experience the good of the land. Send it, Minister David. Manasu, I decree and I declare tonight our addresses are changing to a place called good. According to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 8, 19. Mepe Katalaba. I want you to go ahead, share this video and type share after you have shared it. There are some of you, you are so stingy, you don't even share videos. So stingy, you don't even share. Share it. Share it. If this is blessing you, there are many people in your same shoes, same situation. Who can be blessed by these videos? Share it and type share. Megalagalagadiosha. Unless you're here to observe. But hear me tonight. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that your address is changing to a place called good. Your marital status is changing. To a place called good. According to Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. If ye be willing and obedient. Ye shall eat the good of the land. It's changing y'all. It's changing y'all. It's changing y'all. It's changing y'all. Zagada bakata lagada. Le ponta lagadia. Le grege de vegodiata. Zalupa tos. Paluande. In the name of Jesus, it is changing. It is changing. It is changing to a place called good. It is changing to a place called good. Now watch this. Let's close. I want to prophesy to some women. Actually, this prophecy is for one woman. But I, I, I will, I will, this is what I do. Instead of saying what I see, I will give prophetic wisdom. Is that okay? Woman, listen to me. Hear me. Stop fighting in your marriage. Stop fighting in your marriage and pray for him. Stop fighting in your marriage and pray for him. Else God will snatch him away from you and you will become a miserable woman. I'm sorry, y'all. If I told y'all what I just saw, I would lose many of y'all. But hear the word of the Lord. Stop fighting him. Stop fighting that man that you are married to. There are many people even on here right now who are believing God for husbands. God has blessed you with one. Stop fighting him. Stop fighting him. That say it, the Lord. Stop fighting him and pray for him. What has he done? What has he done wrong? Stop fighting him. I know you have a list, a laundry list of stuff he, he doesn't do and stuff he did wrong. Stop fighting him. Stop fighting him. If you want that marriage to work, stop fighting him. Stay in it. Stop fighting him and pray for him and watch God. Do you believe God? Do you believe God? If your answer is yes, stop fighting him. Forgive. It is. Be I see your unforgiveness beginning to eat into your body. And eventually it's going to manifest in the natural against your health but tonight i cancel it by the blood of jesus because you have chosen to forgive may the spirit of forgiveness come upon you may the spirit of forgiveness possess you in the name of jesus don't let god snatch him away from you else your life will be miserable i see you too i i see you i see it clearly I see you, I see your name, I see you. Mandele Gelevia. 
but the bible says god chastens he corrects those whom he loves that means god loves you tonight god loves you tonight he loves you so much praise god woman that means he loves you he loves you man zebra gadaba in the name of jesus somebody's marriage just got delivered in jesus name but hear me tonight in matthew y'all know i don't do this too much anytime i prophesy it means it's pressing it means i've seen it not just once or twice i, I keep seeing it but hear me tonight after he disobeyed god and he doubted the move of god the bible says the time came for his child to be named and Zachariah. Now before that you realize that because he was dumb, because he couldn't speak, he couldn't change things in his life. Many people who have been made dumb in the spirit realm cannot change things in their life. You cannot change things. Things just happen. You wait for things to happen. You can't change it. Why? Because you cannot fulfill the word of God. You cannot fulfill the word of God. You cannot fulfill Matthew chapter 21 verse 21. The Bible says, Jesus answered and said to them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and not and doubt not, if you don't doubt God, ye shall not say, only, only do this, only do this which is done to the fig tree. But also ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and it shall be done. He said, If you have faith, if you believe, now, because Zachariah did not believe and because he doubted God, he was in disobedience, his mouth was shut. He was dumb, couldn't speak. And because he couldn't speak, he couldn't move mountains. The Bible says, whatever you declare on earth shall be declared in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. So Zachariah could not lose, he could not bind. Because his mouth was shut. That's what happens when you are in disobedience. When you disobey God, your mouth is shut spiritually. You pray and pray, but your prayers carry no weight. It cannot move any mountain, no demon, nothing. But the devil is a liar. I pray tonight deliverance in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver us from the spirit of disobedience. Father, open our mouth spiritually. The Bible says, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. What do you want? God is saying, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. I pray tonight, oh God, that that you cause our mouths to be open wide for you to fill it in the name of Jesus. I bind every dumb spirit, I bind every spirit of dumbness and every spirit of deafness in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I cancel your assignment. I decree and I declare your works against our life will not prosper. Any power of the wicked one seeking to make us dumb, seeking to make us doubt God, seeking to make us not believe God and His and his power in the name of Jesus tonight I bind you and I declare from this day forward you have no power to operate operate in our life in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God do you understand that if the enemy can succeed do you understand that if the enemy can succeed in getting you to doubt God, then he can succeed in making you poor and destroying your life and keeping you in bondage. Because the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. And if you disobey God, that means you don't believe God. And that means you don't have faith. And the opposite of faith is doubt and fear. And if you have doubt and fear, that is a welcoming address for the enemy. That is that, that those are powerful keys in the hands of the enemy to come into your life invade and do whatever he wants to do in your life but i declare tonight that will not be your story again that will not be the story of our families again that will not be the story of our family members again in the name of jesus i bind every spirit of doubt i bind every spirit of disobedience i bind every evil spirit tonight that will cause us to go contrary to the word and promises of god in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, He has spoken it, and it shall come to pass. We shall eat the good of the land. 
Megadabala. Let me seek that you doubt God. Let me give you every reason to doubt God. One of my mandate is to make the power announce the excellency of God, the excellent power of God. That is why we share testimonies. That is why you put your testimony on the website. Thousands of people are viewing it. And so each day they view it, they are going to see testimony of the power of God. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 11 verse 12 or 12, 11, the Bible says they overcame by the blood and by the word of the testimony. I declare tonight by the power of the spirit of obedience and the power of the Holy Ghost and the spirit of God coming upon us. I declare tonight in the name of Jesus that we are overcoming every trial overcoming the spirit of disobedience we are overcoming every spirit that is contrary to the spirit of God we are overcoming every power that is opposite to the power of God in the name of Jesus I declare we are overcoming tonight I declare we are overcoming tonight somebody type overcome overcome I declare we are overcoming tonight I overcome the powers of darkness I tread under feet the power of darkness in the name of Jesus we overcome me galagadiata impelia catulian de remos zedus cadili vi in de remosha pe catos husbands love your wives I hear that strongly husbands love your wives Love your wife is a form of obedience. I declare tonight we are overcoming. If tonight is your first time of praying with me, uh, you you know, just get used to this. You know, sometimes I'll just stop and I'll say something. Like right now, somebody's right wrist is being healed right now. Somebody's right wrist. I don't know what's wrong with your right, right wrist. I don't know what's wrong with it. But right now you are receiving your healing by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I see us overcoming. We are overcoming, we are overcoming real good. We are overcoming successfully. We are overcoming powerfully. We are overcoming in the name of Jesus. Are you me tonight? And so this man could not change things in his life. Whatever I might so the Bible says, whatever you declare shall be declared in heaven. Whatever you lose, he couldn't do that because he was dumb. That's why those of you on the prayer network and those of you at home, when you pray, open your mouth and pray. When you declare, open your mouth and declare. I've, I've seen people, instead of declaring, they speak in tongues. We are declaring that we are overcomers. And then you hear them. That's very good. But you are not declaring what needs to be declared. You need to open your mouth and see, speak it, say it, declare it. And some people also, mm, mm, no, you're not declaring. Open your mouth. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Jesus says. Let's close out, y'all. But we see. That after Lu, after obeying God, let me read the scripture to you. This 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 scripture should have been uh, for another day. This scripture should have been for another day. But Luke chapter one verse sixty three. We are going to close with this. Do y'all do y'all have your communion? Oh, there you go, Alan. You you are good at reminding me. Okay. So we're going to do communion right after this. We'll do communion right after this. We'll do communion right after this. We'll do communion right. So get, get your communion uh, or your sim. I rebuke every headache. I rebuke every migraine. I rebuke every attack against the head of the people of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Father, heal your people tonight. By the blood of Jesus, heal your people tonight. Heal your people tonight. If you are sick in any part of your body, place your hand there. Y'all, we're going to finish this thing. 
Megalaga. There is somebody, your left leg, your left leg, you are receiving healing right now. As a matter of fact, I want you to move your left leg. Move it. Move it. At least three times. Move it. Yes, there it is. It's coming upon you. That, that, that pain is leaving your body. It has just left. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Now, if the Lord has healed you tonight, this has nothing to do with Prophet Vincent. Get on the website. Share your testimony. The Bible says they overcame by the blood and by the word of their testimony. I need five people. Put a website up for me. And as you put it up, may God exalt you. May God exalt you. Put a website up for me. Five people. Write it. Yeah. Put a website up. So put your testimony on the website. The Bible says they overcame by the blood and by the word of their testimony. Now place your hand where that sickness is, where that pain is. I want to pray for your healing tonight. The blood of Jesus has so much power to heal. The blood of Jesus has so much power to heal. The blood of Jesus has so much power to heal. The blood of Jesus can heal you right now. The blood of Jesus will heal you right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, by the laying on of this hand, I speak divine healing over the life of your people. In the name of Jesus, heal your people, Lord, tonight. Heal every sickness and every disease. I bind sicknesses. I bind diseases. In the name of Jesus, let every sickness let every disease leave the bodies of the people of God right now. In the name of Jesus, I bind you, spirit of infirmity. I command you to leave the bodies of the people of God right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you glory. Father, we exalt your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I take that headache away. I take that disease, that sickness away. Receive your healing right now. In Jesus' name. I want you to check yourself. Get on the website right now. Share your testimony. Immediately you will receive your healing. Now hear me. Let us let's pray over communion and uh, and we'll finish this. Uh, let's finish this. Let's finish this soon. Another day. Let's finish this another day. I have so much coming before me. If I dive into this dimension, we are going to be on all night. If I dive into this dimension, we're going to be on all night. But uh, somebody just remind me, prayer leader, somebody remind me to finish this finish this finish the story of zachariah yeah 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 like zachariah something good is about to happen to some people in the name of jesus now lift up the bread the symbol of the body of christ as i get on my knees just lift it up heavenly father in the name of jesus i thank you tonight thank you that this body and this blood, this representation of the body and blood, this, these symbols, thank you that these symbols have been changed to the body of Christ and the blood of Jesus. By the body of Christ, I pray, O oh God, that you make our body whole. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that you make us whole. I pray that you make us whole. Make our family members whole. But as we eat the body tonight, we pray that you cause every spirit of disobedience to flee out of our lives, out of our bodies, in the name of Jesus. We pray tonight in the name of Jesus that, Father, as we partake in the body of Christ, you will cause our eyes to be opened like the way the eyes of jesus was open may we see what you want us to see 
May we discern like Jesus as we partake in the body of Christ. Father, your word says in the book of John chapter 6 verse 56, that if we eat your body and drink your blood, the blood of Jesus, Jesus, we will live in Jesus and Jesus in us. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that as we partake in the body of Christ, we are living in Jesus and Jesus is coming to live in us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And now the Bible says that Jesus lifted up the bread and he broke it and gave thanks. I pray tonight as I break this symbol of the body of Christ, let every curse be broken of our life. Let every spirit of disappointment be broken, bound, and cancelled out of our life. Let any evil reoccurrence in our family be broken tonight. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost and by, by the blood of Jesus. I declare tonight, any reoccurring evil dream is cancelled tonight. By the body of Christ, anything that cannot survive in the body of Jesus cannot survive in us tonight and beyond. I declare today in the name of Jesus, no more attacks against our family members. Our health is in perfect condition because of the body of Christ. Our health is in perfect condition because of the body of Christ. Our bodies are in perfect condition because of the body of Christ. In Jesus' name. Now I want you to place it down. Don't eat it yet. And take the blood of Jesus. The symbol of the blood. Father, I pray tonight. Your word says that when I see the blood, I will pass over you. I pray in the name of Jesus. As we mark our foreheads with the blood. Let it represent the doorposts of our families being marked with the blood. Because of the blood of Jesus, Lord, we, Heavenly Father, we ask that you will cause evil to pass over us. Sickness and diseases passes over us, our family members. In the name of Jesus, I pray tonight, this day, Father, anyone in our family who is sick, as we consume the blood of Jesus, by the power of the healing blood of Jesus, let them receive their healing let them receive their healing our brothers our sisters wherever they are our family members fathers mothers wherever they are our children our spouses wherever they are lord heal them tonight by the blood heal every known and unknown sickness by the blood tonight in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god Father, I thank you. The Bible says that they overcame by the blood and by the word of their testimony. Thank you that according to Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, we are overcoming tonight. As we partake in the blood of Jesus, we are overcoming. Every challenge we are overcoming. Every trial we are overcoming. Disappointment we overcome tonight. In the name of Jesus, we overcome. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, that we are overcomers. Father, we pray tonight that you will cause the benefits of the blood of Jesus to be made manifest in our life, in our families, in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, let every error be corrected in our life. Let every error in our life be corrected. Let every error in our life be corrected. By the blood of Jesus, let delay be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Father, we need your presence. We need a high level of anointing. A high level of wisdom. I pray for divine wisdom. As we partake in the blood of Jesus tonight. 
let divine wisdom come upon us wisdom to prosper wisdom to excel wisdom to live right wisdom to live in good health wisdom to do right wisdom for ministry wisdom for prosperity wisdom for righteousness in the name of jesus we receive wisdom the bible says in the book of revelation chapter 3 that jesus christ has the key of david he opens and no man can shut and so jesus says that if we drink the blood we live in him and he lives in us if he lives in us and he has a key i declare tonight by the blood of jesus because jesus is coming to live in us any door of opportunity be open tonight doors of favor be open tonight doors of miracle be open tonight by the blood the doors of healing are open the doors of breakthroughs are open the doors of deliverance are open the doors of increase has been opened unto us ministerial doors have been opened unto me doors of anointing has been opened doors of favor has been opened unto me and my family in the name of jesus we receive open doors tonight we thank you lord that as we consume this blood the same faith that was in jesus is coming into us the faith to command the storms to be still is coming into us and upon us because of the blood of jesus tonight in jesus precious name father we thank you for victory we thank you for victory. I see the blood that I see doors being opened, doors of new jobs and new favors and new opportunities. Doors leading to new connections. Increase in net worth and increase in network. Thank you that the blood is bringing to us. Thank you that the blood of Jesus is canceling any attack any plot of the wicked one any attack any plot of the wicked one we thank you tonight that it is cancelled by the blood in the name of jesus it is cancelled father i thank you thank you that every partner of this ministry is covered by the grace on this ministry and by the blood of jesus and no weapon that is formed against them and their families will prosper in the name of jesus we cancel backlash we cancel every backlash by the blood i declare tonight i am covered my family is covered in the blood of jesus we are disguised by the blood of jesus in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god when the enemy comes looking for us the enemy will see the blood and not us in jesus name amen now hear me, don't consume it yet. I want you on the 25th and the 26th, make time of this month. The 25th and the 26th. I want you, as a matter of fact, write it, 25th, 26th. Somebody write it, 25th, 26th of May. 25th and the 26th. Type it, 25th and 26th. Yo, everything on here is prophetic. On the 25th and the 26th, we are gathering together. Scope, thank you for your obedience. Dia, thank you for your obedience. 25th and 26th, type it. Periscope, I mean Facebook, what's happening? Are y'all sleeping? All right, okay, I see it now. All right, so there is there must be a delay. There must be a delay. Type 25th and 26th of May. All right, so on the 25th and 26th, we are meeting in Arlington, Virginia. Uh, the hotel is uh, the Hyatt Re Regency Hotel, Hyatt Regency Crystal City at the Riga National Airport. The Riga National Airport. Uh, don't you miss it for anything. Excuse me. It is Memorial Weekend. 
Every Memorial Weekend. That's your birthday. Come on, Gina. Every Memorial Weekend, you travel to places, to families, and other places to watch fireworks. This Memorial Weekend, I want to invite you to watch your fireworks in Washington, D.C. Come to the Hyatt Regency uh, at Crystal City at the National at Reagan National Airport on the 25th and the 26th of May for the prayer and worship experience. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be so powerful. It's, the presence of God is going to be so real. Uh, just come experience it for yourself. Words cannot express what we expect and what is going to happen. It is going to be mind-blowing. It is mind-blowing. And so I want you to get ready. Meet us there. Come, let us worship and fellowship together. God is speaking to me right now. Come, let us fellowship and worship together. Let us believe God for the supernatural in your life. Let us believe God for the supernatural in your life. Something good is about to happen in the life of somebody. Something good is about to happen in the life of somebody. Hey! Ay, 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 ay. Something good is about to happen in the life of somebody. Something good is about to happen in the life of somebody. Don't you miss it. On the 25th and 26th of May in Arlington, Virginia, Hyatt Regency, Crystal City, uh, at the Reagan National Airport. If you flying in, the airport code is DCA, Delta Charlie Alpha, Delta Charlie Alpha. Don't miss it. Don't you miss it at all. There is a shadow from the airport to the hotel. Uh, now, there are many different hotels in that area. And so you can stay in any hotel of your choice that is available. And uh, and you can easily walk to the uh, place or catch you a shadow to that place. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a beautiful area too. It is only 4.4 miles from the White House. So if you've not been this close to the White House, come on. Come close. Come close. Something good is about to happen. And I believe I have a word for many of you who are going to attend. God is going to visit us in a supernatural way. Something powerful is going to happen in the lives of the people of God. Turn as we gather together in Arlington, Virginia. Don't you miss it. Don't you miss it. May God bless you. May God favor you. Now, if you have a testimony, get on the website, share your testimony. As always, a few people are going to put their testimony, the website up. It is V-I-N-C-E-N-T, K-P-O-D-O.com. It is V-I-N-C-E-N-T, K-P-O-D-O.org. Put your testimony on the website. If you are led to sow, which I always encourage you to do so, if you are led to sow, you may do so on the website as well. After such a powerful session of prayer, if I were in your shoes, I would do it as well. And so you may go ahead and do so. Let's believe God for the supernatural in our life. In Jesus' name. Hey, if you don't have my book, if you don't have my book, it's a very, very powerful tool. It is called A Better Me in Him. Get it on the website. Get it on the website. Uh, order it and we'll ship it to you for free. Wherever you are in the world. It's called A Better Me in Him with a subtitle Born to Prosper. I mean, if you ship, if you buy it from uh, Barnes and Nobles, I believe you pay shipping. But on the website, you don't pay no shipping. It's free. We ship it to you for free. Okay? So get on the website, get your copy. It is called A Better Me in Him. A Better Me in Him. Very, very anointed book. You feel the anointing. It's powerful. It's a blessing. Many people call it a manual. Amen. May God bless you. May God preserve you. I want to see you on the 25th and 26th. Those of you who are going to use it as your profile pictures, the flyer, go ahead and do so right after this. Go ahead and do so right after this. Let's make prayer popular. Let's make God pop more popular, more famous. Let us make Jesus and our precious Holy Ghost more important than we, we've made him. Let us make it more important. May God bless you. May God preserve you. Now you may consume the communion. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'm believing God for the supernatural in your life. Many of you tonight, as you partake in the blood and the body of Christ, 
evil dreams are being cancelled permanently 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 you will not see the dead in your dreams any longer unless god wants you to see them you we will not encounter negative stuff in our dreams anymore i declare that our dreams are turning into visions of good stuff and revelations i declare that our sleep time is uh, turning into times of revelation and visions by the blood in jesus name samuel is asking do i have paper yes the paper is praying prophet zero one at yahoo.com scope if somebody can put my email up sister jamila minister jamila thank you so much i see you it is praying prophet zero one at yahoo.com praying prophet zero one at yahoo.com well may god bless you may god preserve and favor you may god cause his face to shine upon you in the name of jesus get ready for your miracle it's miracle season this is our harvest season god bless you i love you so much father i thank you you are a consuming fire we worship you tonight we ask, so oh God, that you manifest yourself in our life. Manifest your power. Manifest your presence. Come manifest yourself in our life. Show yourself strong, O oh God. More power. More anointing. More favor. We pray that you draw us closer and closer and closer to you. Show us the secrets of your kingdom. The secrets of the spirit. Lord, show me the secrets of your spirit. Give me the wisdom needed, O oh God. To lead the people that you have assigned to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I love y'all. Praying for you. Believing God for the supernatural. Happy Sunday. If it's your birthday tonight, I see people already sown. God bless you. Somebody, I just, somebody just sold some. 2777. 2777 some. God bless you indeed. May God cause you to see a harvest in this season of harvest. In the name of Jesus. Get on the website if you are led to sow. I believe I'm going to do so as well tonight. Because I'm believing God to deliver me from the spirit of disobedience. The spirit of delay. You know, disobedience causes delay in your life. Disobedience causes delay in your life. Candice, God bless you. Disobedience causes delay in your life. And, and, and on our next session, once I continue with this, I'll tell you some of the benefits of obeying God. But disobedience causes delay in your life. You disobey, you disobedience causes frustration, it causes delay in your life. But I thank God that all that is changing. We are coming out of disobedience. We are being delivered out of disobedience in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Look up to God. I love y'all. Teach Deuteronomy 28. I'm, I'm going to do so. Y'all pray for me. I'm believing God for some things. God has shown me a lot of things, but uh, believing God. Believing God for some stuff. Some finances to do some stuff for you. All right? You know, I want us to have, I want us to have prayer centers. We need prayer centers in America. Places where you can come each, any day, any time to pray. Yeah. And so, but we need money to do it. And so, y'all pray for me. If God touches your heart to donate a property, we are 501c3. That means whatever property you donate, you can claim it on your taxes, okay? Uh, so, uh, if God touches your heart, if you feel a pull to do it, avail yourself. Obey God. Obey God. Obey God. Don't let him snatch it from you. He can. Obey God. 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 God bless you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you and your mom listen. God bless you. I love you all so much. Obey God. Obey God. We need we need some properties to establish prayer centers. I, I, I declare, 
As a matter of fact, I declare the release of properties for Generation of Faith Prayer Network in the name of Jesus. And I pray, oh God, as we gather together on the 25th and 26th, let no weapon from the gates our gathering prosper. Cover our gathering in the blood of Jesus. Father, cause miracles to become the order of the day. Let your power be made manifest like never before. Let your presence be made manifest on that day, on those two days like never before. I pray also, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you touch the hearts of people who have the properties that we need to release it for this ministry. And when they do, blow their mind like never before in jesus name amen god bless you look somebody's asking do we need properties overseas look the the lord said the lord has instructed us to raise prayer centers across the globe not just in america across the world so wherever you are wherever you are if you want if you are led to do so Obey God. Obey God. I know a man, a man of God, he sold his house and gave, he, he came to me. He said, I just sold my house. Next thing I know, he was giving out uh, some very, very expensive gifts. I mean, expensive gifts. Gifts that equal, that, that are almost equal gifts that, that even almost equates to the cost of a house. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever God tells you to do, do it. Your blessing is in the obedience. God bless you. God favor you. This is your harvest season. This is your harvest season. You reap what you sow. I love you. Praying for you. Shalom. Believe God. Send me an email if you need to reach us. Believe God. Believe God. When you hear his voice, believe him. Obey him. And do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Release it. Release that property. Release that funds. Release your 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 yourself for God to use. Release it. Whatever it is, let it go and let God use you. God bless you. I love you. I'm praying for you. Many people pray for God to use them. But how can you pray for God to use you and not want God to use your resources? You don't have any resource of your own anyways. He said the heavens belong to him, the earth and the fullness thereof. The earth and the fullness thereof is the Lord. You are only a custodian of what belongs to God. That property, that money, that finances, all that belongs to God. You are just a custodian. You are just a custodian. And so you cannot pray to God and say, Lord, use me and everything for anything you want. And when he demands something from you, it's an issue. May God bless you. I love you. I'm praying for you. That's wisdom. Receive the wisdom of God in Jesus' name. Sweet dreams, y'all. I'm believing God for the supernatural in our life. Believe God and watch God. Shalom. I'm only a custodian. Consuming fire. I bow before your throne. Hallelujah. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Set my heart on fire, Lord. Make me a shining light. Set my soul on fire. Manifest yourself through me. Speak through my voice again, Lord. See through my eyes, oh Lord. You are the all-consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself in my life. Set my heart on fire, Lord. Set my soul on fire. Manifest yourself through me, Lord. Speak through my voice. See through my eyes, Lord. You are the all-consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself in my life. Consuming fire. We worship you today. Hallelujah. May God bless you and bless us all with divine wisdom. Obey God. Shalom. Obey God. Obey God. Shalom. Hey! 
Shalom.